Now I'm going to show you a little demo of the Arduino IoT Cloud. So uh, what I'm going to have here is the MKR Wi-Fi 1010. And the environment shield, like I said, the environment shield has different sensors on it. So this one has humidity, pressure, and temperature sensor on it. And this is the Mi a Maker Wi-Fi 1010, which is a Wi-Fi board, which I'm going to use in this demo. So I'm going to connect these two boards, like the Panini concept, back to it. Now we're going to go to the IoT Cloud. So if I'm going to Google and type in Create Arduino, directly I go to the Arduino Create, and I will be on this screen. So this is the Arduino Create platform. You need to sign in here. You can sign in on different plans, but I'm going to show it to you later. So before we get started, we need to connect our device to the IoT Cloud. So we simply go to the Device Manager, and then we're going to add a new board. So we're going to select the board we're going to use for this cloud. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to have the Arduino Maker Wi-Fi 1010. So I select the board, and now everything tells so it tells me everything I need to do. So welcome to the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 IoT configuration. So I'm going to go log in, and now I need to connect the board. I shall simply use a micro USB cable, connect the board. So now it waits for the board to become available. This might take, there we go, already connected. Now I can name the board. So for this, I'm going to make it make a distrack. Click to next. So we will now configure the encrypted chip. Like I said, it's going to be uh, encrypted. So now we're going to need to configure it, type configuring it. So this might take a few minutes. But so while this is configuring, I want to show a little bit about the other Arena Create. So this web form has a web editor, also has a getting started guide. So if I go to the getting started guide, it shows me how to get started with different components. You select the components and then it shows you how to get started. But it also has the Arduino project hub. So you go to the Arduino project hub and here you have millions of projects that have been uh, done with Arduino projects, uh, products. So here you can see it's, it's a long list. I don't want to go to each of these examples because it would take, and you can see there are tons of it above here. We have around 200 sites of demos. And also some of the demos uh, explain how, how they've done it. They have an, what you need to buy to do it. So it's really cool to do. Just see. So now um, the crypto key has been released. Now we're going to go to secret, and we need to connect my board to Wi-Fi so for this one. I need to connect to the Wi-Fi, which is this one. I'm going to use the password. Hopefully that was correct. And now it's uploading the uh, crypto key to the board and make sure that's the board connected as via Wi-Fi. Go back to the project hub, like I said. Then you can also uh, have a device manager, a digital store so we can buy stuff, and the Arduino IT Cloud, which I'm going to show you later. Um, I just wanted to show you that you can buy different plans of this IoT Cloud. So I'm using the free plan right now, so I don't have to pay anything. I can do around 100 total sketches. I have 200 seconds per day compilation time. I can create one thing, I'll show you <laughs> what one thing is. Uh, five properties, um, five cloud-enabled Arduino boards, one cloud-enabled Linux device, and one day cloud data retention. See where we are. So now it's connected, and we're going to go to Next and go to Device Manager. So now that's it. As you can see, super easy. Board is connected. Here you have it. Um, next up, I need to go to the Arduino IoT Cloud. So I'm at the Arduino. This is the IoT Cloud. Like I said, new thing is basically the, the application that you wanted to set up. So I'm going to click New Thing. We're going to name this NV Shield 2. And we need to select the board. So this is the Maker Distrelect via Cloud Maker Wi-Fi 1010 I just uh, created. I go to Create. Now we have uh, the thing created, and we need to add a property. So what we need to add in here is, uh, first of all, I would like to start with the environment light. So we type in environment light. Um, I would like to have this in illuminance. And uh, we set the max volume to 100. This is just so it displays a different number at, 
at the property. Oops, I just saw that I have this is wrong. There you go. Then you need to add another property which is gonna be humidity. Take this way. Uh, humidity will be in relative humidity. We're gonna set this to 100 as well. Edit. And we add another one which is gonna be pressure. Pressure will be in Pascal. I'm gonna set this one to 100 as well. Add property. And last but not least, we need temperature. We have it. Temperature. Uh, you can choose between Celsius, Fahrenheit, Kelvin. Going for Fahrenheit. So, 700, so very good. There you go, that's it. Um, we just double check if the right board is connected, make a distro like. This is the board ID, make a Wi Fi 10, that's fine. Dashboard, that's what the dashboard will look like. Um, you can see there's nothing displayed yet because I haven't coded anything yet. So I need to edit the sketch, and now it takes me to the uh, to the editor. Now it's a little bit more, this is a little bit more advanced as I said. So now we need to edit this code so it knows what to work with. So I'm gonna let me delete this so it doesn't know. So we need to include a library, Oops. which will be the uh, Arduino Maker Environment Shield .h. So we have the environment shield connected. And then uh, we're gonna add, oops, there you go. Uh, then we go downstairs here, and we're gonna add the temperature and make give the value like where it collects the value, basically from the board. So we're gonna go to temperature, environment, dot, read, temperature, Number one, then we're going to go for humidity. Go to environment.read humidity. Then we're going to go to pressure. Environment read pressure. This is basic coding. For those of you who have worked with C, um, this shouldn't be something new. Oops. Illuminance, hopefully that was correct. And then we're gonna add a small delay of 150 milliseconds. That's it. Um, I think that's basically it. Let's try if this code works. So we need to verify and save. Uh, we need to define values. So we need to connect the board to it. So first of all, let me double check again to uh, connect it to the internet. There you go, oops. We go back. Um, exactly, so now we have, now as we have done this, one important thing to do is, if you go to the things, we need to make sure that the things ID we're going to see in here is the same ID that the board has. So if we go back to device manager, uh, sorry, if we go back to the Arduino IT cloud and we created this thing, we need to make sure it has the same idea, ID. So we're going to copy this ID, paste it here. Going to use this uh, one here again. Sorry. Which one? Oh, yeah, got it. <laughs> Thanks. So, kind of double check again. Yeah, it's checking if, if everything works. The code is correct if you made any failure. So, it says character. Which one? That's weird.
think this one. Let's check it again. There you go, it works, it's looking good. And now we're gonna upload this to the board. Can open the monitor. Connecting to Arduino IoT Cloud, connected to Arduino IoT. So you're gonna go back to the board, go to the dashboard, and there you have it, you have the values. So now you can see, it's super easy to connect everything. You have every component now. It's working. I'm gonna. It's gonna be a little slow because of the Wi-Fi. But if you're gonna put on there, you're gonna see the temperature will rise at some point. There you go. And also the pressure uh, will change. So it's super easy. You can switch these comp around how you want it to uh, set it up, and also add different properties on here. So uh, you can also add another board. So it's super easy to do. Edit sketch. When you go to the sketches back again, um, you can also use the sketches to share with different people. So if somebody sends you a sketch, you can easily use it, drop it in here. Just make sure that um, your things ID is different from the guy who did it himself. And then you can simply use your Wi-Fi, uh, upload it to your board, and you can use the same code for your board. But it also is uh, secure due to the crypto uh, key on, on your board. That's it. Thank you very much.